Tanjiro looks sick. Like he looks cool, but he also looks like he might be sick. Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and today I got another box of Demon Slayer cards. These are Demon Slayer, Alibaba, AliExpress. I don't know. They're not legit, but I think they look really cool. I opened some One Piece cards recently and they looked awesome. I've opened some Demon Slayer cards here before, and these just looked really rad and they were cheap and it looks like fun to open. So I'm gonna strip them and let's see what's inside. If this is your guys' first time here and you like seeing trading cards getting shrippled open, consider submission that subscription button. All right, let's check out these Demon Slayer Cardos. All right, so this is the box to get a better look. It's kind of foil. There's some foil on the box, which is cool. This, I don't know, I don't know about that, but there's some pictures of what some of the cards look like, and it looks like some of the really rare cards look very interesting. So I'm excited to see what they look like. They definitely, some of these bootleg cards definitely look pretty awesome. Oh, here we go, slice them. Dragon's knife, get in there. I don't even know, how do you, how do you properly strip them a bootleg box? Question I've been asking for generations. All right, so this is the box and I don't even know how, oh, oh, huh. It comes with a, wow. This is for your rare card, I guess. They, they're they telling you you're gonna pull something good, so you better have something nice to put it in. And then in here, there's a lot of empty space. And they even give you a little card easel for a card display. That's so nice, so considerate, wow. All right, so I think there's like 20 packs in here or something, and they were facing opposite directions. So of course, we gotta bless them a pack. Oh, Zenitsu, be bless them to have that very cool looking, very bootleg card in here. Now let's strip them these things. So this is the art on here. It's got a blue and yellow Zenitsu, which I love. I like blue and yellow stuff. I don't know if you guys know that about me. Ooh, wow. I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of shiny cards here. We got everything. Oh, and it's telling you, this is an ad for saying, oh, no, that's a card. It was just backwards. Is there gonna be a rarer card? Yeah, this looks like this is the one that's more rare. This says SR in the corner. They usually put the rarities in the corner of these things, but uh, yeah, this has some different kind of foiling on it. Slightly, slightly different than the other regular rares. That's usually the lowest rarity you can get in these things is a rare. You're not gonna pull anything less rare than a rare. They're all shiny in here and they're all potentially upside down. Uh, this one's backwards. What is this? Is Wait, hang on, there's cards stuck together. Ooh, SSR it was stuck to this rare. That's a very interesting looking. They really changed the style of the art on here quite a lot, huh? Wow. Cool, it's got this kind of texture looking thing going on in the background. Nice, and then we got a Tanjiro and Zenitsu. Yeah, so there's only five cards in here and they didn't care to put them in here properly for sure. So uh, here's a Tanjiro and some stuck cards. This yosh, yosh. Pretty, ooh, SSR Tomioka. Wow, what the heck, this looks pretty cool. It's like gold foil. Oh on a, my god! It's like a gold stamp on a white hollow foil. Pretty rad. I like that. And our other rares here, just the regular shiny, just the regular shiny bootleg stuff, you know. Our next shrimp on here is gonna be. All right, we got a Nezuko, and this one's usually upside down. That is, ooh, an SSR Inosuke. What the heck, he's a chibi boy. He's a chibi boy and he's very rare. Look at all those stars. This must be the rare boy of the show. Mount, God of the mountains saying hello. I like this art actually, this is cool. All these cards are pretty cool. They did a pretty good, pretty good job with these. But yeah, that's fun. Very cute. So pretty much every pack we've opened so far, there's been something pretty different in here. All right, so the next one should be upside down and stuck to the one behind it. And I'm assuming that's the rare one. I'll just save that. Moves on, looking so peaceful. And is this the rare one or is this the rare one? The only way to find out is to split them. Whoa, very cool. Another SSR. Apparently this set really loves Shinobu, or maybe this box just really loves Shinobu. But I like how they changed the art style on these. It's really beautiful card. Very cool looking. I wonder if there is a game you can play with these. It seems like they have like power levels and stuff. 
but okay, so this should be our rare cards stuck together as usual. <sighs> Ooh, that's not the rare one, so it must be this one. Oh, whoa, another SSR. Dang, these every pack, it's like very different styles of all the stuff that's in these packs. And I really like this kind of texture foil thing, etch something or another going on in the background there. It's very, very cool. I wonder what the game you could play with this would be. But same thing, yeah, so like this, keep being upside down in here. Oh, are we about to get a, uh, are we about to get a super rare Conjuro? We'll find out by looking at this one because the one behind it here. Okay, it's a rare, so this should be a, oh, nice. whoa, SSR white foil gold stamp Conjuro. The Hashira of love, love breathing, is that what it's called? I think she's gonna be the, she's one of the main Hashiros in the next season that's online. All right, our normal, <laughs> that's a good one. And, My best oh wow, Inosuke looking very handsome for a man. Wow, what a handsome lad. You better look out when this guy takes his boar's head off and shows you the real look of the king of the mountain. God of the Mountain, excuse me. I feel like it doesn't even matter what way I open them because they're all gonna be oriented in some weird way anyway. I think these have all been, for the most part, different actually. These rares that we're seeing, <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> wow, the look of surprise. You gotta crawl on your shoulder, my friend. And what's this one here? Japan. Ooh, SSR Cutie Nezuko, Kawaii Nezuko. Very chibi, very cute and very very rare you can see as well this is a pretty exciting box of cards though but i gotta say for i think this thing was like 20 bucks i think it was like 20 bucks for this box you can get them on aliexpress i think that's the way to get it don't buy these on ebay because they'll be really expensive on ebay wow that's actually really pretty and that's just a oh that's an sr wait so is there another rarity and wow an ssr and an sr whoa this box has got some hits. We already saw that one though. Rare Whoa. ZR. Whoa, yo, that is sick. This is very, very cool. What is going on with that? Zenitsu in the drip. He's literally just dripped out. And this foiling is crazy. What the heck? What? This is wild. That is really, really cool. I guess that's the one that goes in the stand. And you put this one in the case in the stand. That's why they gave it to you, because you're gonna need that for something. And it's for this card with the insane texture foil, what? It's like the shiny with the shiny inside of it. Somehow they made the shiny shinier inside of the shiny. And his hair is shiny too. Wow, so serious. He must be sleeping. Pretty wild. I think ZR must be, that must be the rarest card in the box. Just based on how that looks, I would assume that that is the most rare card in the box. And, oh, what the heck, XR? Japan. Yo, this is crazy too. What the heck? Tanjiro looks sick. Like he looks cool, but he also looks like he might be sick. I don't think he's gonna do so well after the, what's going on with his face here. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, he almost looks like the guy that makes his sword, like the way his eyes look when the foiling is like here. That looks so weird, that's so weird. Wow. <laughs> what the heck? These are wild, these are really wild. It looks like like water inside of the card. That's just so cool, I love this kind of foiling. Wow, what a great pickup this set was. Okay, so these these we've seen before. And, and an SR in that pack also. Okay, I don't think that there can be anything that's higher rarity than that. I think we've seen the most rare stuff in this box now, I feel confident. Uh, you are. You are seems like it's not quite as rare as the SR, but Shinobu's got the drip on also. Is this like the drip set? She's got on like a captain's jacket. What? Whoever they have doing this art is doing cool stuff. And there's an SR. I guess when you get a really rare one, you get an SR in the same pack also. But this is really, really cool. It doesn't have the same kind of water vibe as that one, but the background on this one is crazy. It's so wild. I don't know what that says behind her, but there's definitely English letters it looks like. Huh, very cool. Very, very rad.
I keep saying I don't think I can pull any more heat, and then heat keeps coming out. I don't know if this is going to keep happening. I thought I got the rarest card. I thought the XR would be the rarest. Maybe this one is. This is a, another wow. UR. And an SR. This is the Stone Hashira. And he's got the drip on also. They're all wearing captain's jackets. What? This one has like a blue stamp on it. This is, these are crazy. These are really, really good looking. I'm excited to put these in a binder. AliExpress got that bootleg card game on lock. Let me tell you about that. These cards are cheap as heck. 20 bucks for a box of these things? Heck yeah, I'll do that. Whoa, another UR. This one looks like the same kind of style as that. And there must be an SR in here as well. Yeah. But this one's got Tomioka in the drip this time with that same kind of blue thing going on. But it, this one is like a gold stamp on here, it looks like. Maybe it's sort of red. Wow, that's very cool looking. Maybe this is just how they laid it out. Is as you keep ripping through these things, you just keep pulling more and more heat. I've never pulled this many like high rarity kind of cards out of these sorts of boxes before. So what's this one? Oh my you god! Are. I think this is the Mist Hashira, right? He's got the drip also. They're all got these captain's jackets. They got captain's captain's coats outside of their Demon Slayer core outfits. Very cool. I do like when they're actually colored over the kind of white foil, whatever that is. Another SR in here. Yeah, definitely. You are looking good. Wow. Is this all just gonna be, is this all just gonna be, is this all just gonna be supreme heat coming out of these things? Is that what's gonna happen here? This is different. Oh, this is the, this is like the advertisement card. This is a, you get an advertisement in each one of these for a toy that you can buy on AliExpress also probably. I love this one. This one's really good. SR here, so this must be rare behind here. Whoa, whoa, what? PTR? They just can't stop coming up with it. Look at this man. He is swagged out. What? And it's got this crazy hollow foil. Like, it's got this crazy, like, shell texture thing going on in the back. The belts coming off of his pants are shiny. Wow, they're really they're really going the extra mile with these outfits. They must have people just drawing art specifically for these cards. This is like million rare. It's got all these stars on it. Wow, that's wild. That's super wild. All right, couple more packs here. And what's it gonna be inside of them? Another advertisement. What's the advertisement? It's Zenitsu. And let's go this way. I think if you do that, then maybe they come up forward sr so there must be a rare one back here this is another ptr oh what rengoku sauced out look at that fit this is like they're all hype beast they all got the hype beast like streetwear look going on this is very very wild very very wild design i like that it's very red and it's got this character exploding behind him I don't know about the shoes. I feel like the shoes maybe could be better, but they match, you know? They match, and it matches his sword, and it matches the swag drip. PTR. I don't even know what that is stands for. I don't know what that could even start standing for, but it must stand for something. It must stand for something cool. Okay, here we go. What? That, okay, that's just, this is the rare. This is the rarest one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end with that because I think that's the rarest card. So I'm just going to open the bless him here. Bless him, de-strip him. What do we got in here? Shouldn't be as rare, maybe something less rare. Uh, that's a normal rare. And here's another rare. These cards are all in such a weird order. SR, so there must be something more rare. Whoa, another drippy. This is another PTR? Yeah. Wow, I don't know about his fit. He's a little chunky. It looks like he's got a little chungus thing going on. But this this foiling in the back looks great. And now let's look at this Zenitsu card that we opened already. This is the heat right here. Whoa! Oh no, it's not Zenitsu. It's Inosuke, the TSR. Wow. Wow. This is wild. What the heck? This is just like a rainbow foil texture extraordinaire. I think that's Inosuke. Yeah, yeah. I think that's his mask down there. What? And it doesn't even have stars. It's just on fire. The rarity of this card is just on fire. It's absolute heat hotness. Is it Inosuke? Am I wrong? I think it is. Tell me in the comments below if you think I'm wrong. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Can't really see the colors. But there's a lot of colors. Anyway, guys, that was the Demon Slayer strip. I hope you enjoyed this. Those cards were crazy. I've never seen stuff like that. It was just like wild shininess, crazy textures, and very, very unique and different art. So AliExpress is doing it right. You can go there and get a box for like 20 bucks. 
I'm a dentist, I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip to you today is actually about dental anatomy. So your tooth has two parts anatomically that we usually talk about. There's the root and the crown. The root is in the bone and the crown is outside of the gum tissue. That's the part that you see like in your mouth where we say clinically, you can see the clinical crown, which is outside of the gum tissue. But the root is in the bone and there's a little ligament that connects the root to the bone called the periodontal ligament. Whenever that ligament flexes, it sends a nervous impulse to your brain telling your brain what the texture of that food is. So that's how your teeth actually feel the texture of food. Kind of cool, right? Thank you so much. Thanks for checking out this shrimp and I'll see you guys next time. I am a dentist. I can't end it.